they ended up putting me with a fashion photographer um, and I worked in his studio kind of as like his extra photographer, his social media, his paint the stairs, um, really any and everything. <laughs> I mean, I got to do everything from like anytime, you know, models would walk in for just like headshots, you know, Carlos was too busy. So I would get to, you know, just talk to like really, really cool models and hang out and take photos. And then other times I would be literally painting the stairs multiple times a week because they'd get dirty, but he wanted white stairs. I mean, the whole program, just getting to explore so many different facets of London and the culture and seeing how people actually live there and like explore London as a Londoner would just via this program and this class about, you know, culture and being in London. So that was really, really cool. So now I am an associate photo editor for Ink Magazine, which is um, INC, not INK, no tattoos involved. Um, but Inc. is a small business and entrepreneur magazine and we just write, you know, really amazing features um, and do a lot of really cool photo work and I am their digital photo editor. So my day to day is making sure that our website's pretty, that um, everything's kind of flowing and functional and we're getting clicks and mostly just making it as pretty as I can for, you know, small businesses and entrepreneurship is a very small sector, a very niche topic. So trying to make that fun and exciting all the time is a good challenge. I feel like London kind of gave me the tools to communicate really well with people that, you know, don't necessarily see me as, um, you know, appear like I, I was the intern and I was kind of the person that like would go out and do all the all the ridiculous tasks. And so I learned really quickly how to explain what I wanted to do and how I could be an asset. And so I think I used a lot of that as well um, going into my experience with my current internship turned job. And, you know, I'm able to explain what I can do and what I'm capable of and why I think that there's certain things that could be different and they're very open to me you know, discussing things, which is hilarious because I'm a child and people listen to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's been really cool. It's been um, terrifying, but having that kind of experience of doing something very similar beforehand um, in London when you're a foreigner and luckily they spoke English, but you know, it's it's still, really, really great to have had that experience that really pushes you out of your comfort zone so that being here, it's just ease. There's nothing really that you haven't done before.